Okay, hey guys, uh, had to had to cut it off there for a moment. I was really running out of time. I was hitting the fifteen minute mark, and this is gonna be have to gonna have to be a two part video. I didn't realize how many autographs I have. Um, wow. I'm gonna take it. So here we go with the second part. Uh, so I showed you this real quick. Uh, the other Adam West and Burt Ward. I was gonna try and get these in one video, but. It's not going to happen. Uh, I believe I showed you this at the end there. So, yes, Melody Anderson in 80 or 1980 or 80, I think it was 83, 83, 84. Uh, there was a movie called Flash Gordon. It's based on a comic book, and she played a character named Dale Arden. Very nice, very sweet lady. Very cool. Again, if you, it's very cheesy. And really like kind of old school, uh, but check this movie out. It's it's uh, it's a it's just a lot of fun, you know. It's the eighties, you know. The special effects aren't what they were now, uh, but it's a lot of fun. It's really a lot of fun. Check it out. Uh, again, some of the stuff you guys just may not know, but if you know TV Land or Nick at Night or whatever, uh. A little show called The Happy Days, or Happy Days. And Henry Winkler, who uh, you've seen him in some of the Adam Sandler movies. Uh, I'm forgetting which ones at the point. He's been in like three or four of his movies. Uh, he also played the principal in the first Scream movie. Uh, in Happy Days, he, he was the Fonz. Like, he was like one of the coolest characters ever. So... So yeah, there's Henry Winkler. So that's him as fun. Uh, another old show from the seventies and eighties. You know, yes, I'm dating myself. What am I gonna do? There's a show called Three's Company, and this was uh, a show. You had three of the cast members. You had Joyce DeWitt and Priscilla Barnes and Richard Klein, who played three of the characters uh, on this show. So I picked this photo, which had all. All three of them. This is like basically a cast photo. The other three weren't there. Uh, well, Don Knotts and John Ritter. Both very, very talented comedian, comedic actors. Uh, not with us anymore. So, but these three were there. Okay. And uh, Priscilla Barnes was also in a James Bond movie called uh, License to Kill. If I'm remembering correctly. So there goes my, my James Bond. Love the James Bond movies. So that's great. Okay, Henry Anker. Back to wrestling. Woo! And uh, again, you people should know, you guys should know who this is. I don't care if you've never watched wrestling. This is Ric Flair, the nature boy. 16-time former World Heavyweight Champion, two-time WWE Hall of Famer. You should know who this is, whether you watch wrestling, don't watch wrestling. This guy's the man. He was so awesome. So awesome. I got a picture uh, with uh, me and my brother took with him. It's it's one of my prized possessions. I love it. Uh, met this guy here, another wrestling legend. Legend. The living legend. Bruno San Martino. Really nice guy. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of wrestling in here. Sorry. Uh, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, whose son, uh, Ted DiBiase Jr., uh, is currently in the WWE. So, yes, I am a huge wrestling fan. So, And, well, okay, that's just a picture. That's not signed. But there's a very nice picture of Shawn Michaels. Uh, another one of my all-time favorite TV shows uh, is a show called The Dukes of Hazard. It was on the 80s, and Bo and Luke Duke and were the, the two main characters. Luke Duke, played by uh, Tom Wolpat. This is from a, like a reunion movie they did. And John Schneider, who, uh, if you didn't watch The Dukes of Hazard, if you were a fan of Smallville, you would also recognize him as... He played Jonathan Kent. 
the father of Clark Kent. So very cool. And a uh, little side story. I told him this story when my brother and I were younger. Um, we used to go with my parents. They'd go food shopping. And we didn't want to go run around the store. We used to wait for him in the car. And we used to play like Dukes of Hazard in the car. Because on the TV show, they, they were like race car drivers. So the doors of the car are welded shut. So you had to get in through the window. So we used to do that with my dad's car. Climb in and out of the car through the window. And pretend we were Bo and Luke Duke. Uh, so I told John Schneider that story. And he got a kick at it. And he wrote. Uh, I'm not sure if you could read this where he wrote uh, to Mark Yeehaw uh, use the door John Schneider so really great guy I told him that story he got a kick out of that um, this is a guy here with the million dollar man simply he was simply known as Virgil he was like his bodyguard and he he wrestled as well a little bit but there's Virgil and then we have Axe and Smash Demolition, one of the greatest tag teams in the 80s and early 90s. Uh, I believe they were the first, I could be mistaken here, but I believe they were the first tag team to win the tag team titles three times. Great tag team. Great guys. You know, you wouldn't know it by that look, but, you know, it's it's all about character and menacing. And uh, now, again, we'll go into back to the sci-fi realm a little bit. And Linda Hamilton from the Terminator films, who of course played Sarah Connor uh, in the first two films, and in the most recent Terminator film, uh, you heard her voice as older John Connor is playing the tapes that she records. Uh, he's listening back, and so they used her voice, which was great. She was very nice. Uh, also in a show called Beauty and the Beast, uh, which, if you remember that show, but, you know, Terminator. Who doesn't know Terminator? Okay? Sarah Connor. Badass. And this guy. Again, um, he played the main predator in Alien vs. Predator. Um... Again, his handwriting is a little... I can't... I don't remember the guy's name. And I can't quite read his handwriting. So, But anyway, very cool. Guy who played the Predator. Very nice. Uh, more wrestling. Uh, this is Triple H, Hunter Hearst Helmsley. This is, this is when he was first sort of starting in his career. Now you'd... To get him now would probably be ridiculous. Just, again, if you're a wrestling fan, if you just saw WrestleMania, uh, an amazing, amazing Hell in a Cell match with The Undertaker. But this was like 97, I think, 98. Uh, here we have Jeff Hardy. Again, one of the Hardy boys. Very amazing. You know, he's had some problems, but he's trying to make amends. He's doing well. He's in TNA right now. Uh, okay, got to hurry this up because my camera's going to die. Uh, another drag racer. Uh, this is Antron Brown. Great, great guy. Really friendly. Uh, as far as the, the dragsters, he would be my my favorite racer. You know, Funny Cars is John Force. Uh, but really great guy. And... And there's a picture of Natalie Portman. And I think that's... that. Is that it? No. No, we have some more. I forgot about these. Any of you guys know the movie Clerks? Then you know this guy he wrote. See, uh, To Mark. This is Brian O'Halloran, who played Dante in the Kevin Smith movie Clerks. Great, great film. You have to check this movie out. And, and for anyone... Who works in any kind of store where they where you deal with the public, especially like I do, you gotta check this movie out. It is it is so amazing. It's such a great movie for being such a simple movie. And he, wrote, he even wrote, uh, "I'm not even supposed to be here," which again, if you've seen the movie, you know what that means. Okay, okay. 
Now, this is one of my more recent, I'm gonna skip this for a second and go on to, now this is, I got this at the New York Comic Con, not this past year, but the year before. Again, I bought this as a company called Celebrity Authentics, which this is what they do, is they do uh, celebrity autographs and they get, and they have signings and they, uh, they do, they sort of have contracts with certain celebrities to do signings. And this was a picture I bought uh, of Sigourney Weaver. Uh, to meet her in person one day would be amazing. Again, this is my all-time favorite movie. As huge of a Star Wars fan I, as I am, Aliens is my all-time favorite movie. And Lieutenant Ellen Ripley, one of the greatest characters in sci-fi. Total badass. I mean, get away from her, you bitch! You know, that is one of the greatest, most classic lines ever and she was nominated for an Academy Award for that. And now, last but not least, again, you saw my Luke Skywalker photo, but Mark Hamill is also very well known as a voice actor, and most notably as the Joker. Yeah, <laughs> that was my attempt at a Joker impersonation. Um, also, you know, again. For you gamers, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, he did the vo he did the voice of the Joker in those. Batman the Animated Series, Justice League, so many other cartoons. You know, Mark Hamill. You can't... Best Mark, jokingly yours, Mark Hamill. And th this was worth every penny. Uh, you know... It's on my channel somewhere, I have some footage from New York Comic Con last year where I was online. Uh, I didn't film while I was actually meeting him because it actually said no cameras uh, filming. Um, so I didn't want to like actually film too close in case like some security guys would like got mad or something like. You know, I waited for a long time. You know, to 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 meet this 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 man. This I mean, he. I'm getting, all, I'm getting all choked up here. This guy was my boyhood hero, as many of you out there probably, you know, same thing. This is Luke Skywalker. You know, there's, you know, there's the, uh, there's the Mark Hamill, which you've seen before in my, in my collection video. But I, it was, this is worth every cent I paid for this. This autograph, the other autograph and uh, the photo of me with him. It's it's kind of like stuck behind some stuff right now. I, would. Uh, I have a, a video, a collection video of basically my haul from Comic-Con that year. Uh, which there's some more stuff. Cool video. Uh, so yeah, so that's it. That is... Uh, well, one other... Auto Again, I think I've shown you this before. It's kind of... These are three singers. They're sort of like YouTube singers. I don't know if you could see this. Uh, but you have Luke Connard and Alex Goot. And... Oh, that's Tiffany Alvord. But they signed this. I got to meet them. I got to go to one of their concerts. And got to meet them. So that's uh, the other last autograph. So that's every autograph that I could think of that I have. And there, well, I don't know if you could see it, but there's my photo with Mark Hamill. Um, let's see. Let's see. Well, it's very, yeah, very slightly. Again, uh, if you go back to my old video of my New York Comic Con uh, haul, there's a better look at that. And it's on my Facebook page as well. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, so I'm going to hit 15 minutes again with this. So I gotta cut this off. My camera is dying. Two videos, but there it is. My my autograph collection. So hopefully you guys got a kick out of this. Hopefully you weren't really bored uh, with it. Um, it's something I really wanted to do. Um, so yeah, there it is. And I I I am an autograph whore. I've been called that, and I will say that proudly. Uh, but there it is. I'm wrapping it up before this thing cuts me off. 
So long. May the force be with you. I'll see you. Bye-bye.